<laughs> All right, welcome, uh, welcome back. <laughs> hey, you two. It's been a while. How yeah, you right. doing? <laughs> Hang out, my friend. Uh, I guess this video will be separate because it'll probably be a bit too long. But I'll still be smoking in it. Yeah. All right. I think, uh, let me adjust it just a little bit because... <clears throat> Well, it was his belated birthday hangout. Yeah, it's about what? What day is it? August what? Uh, bunch of misfits. We don't know what day it is. We got the. It is August thirteenth. Mm, not bad. How many days ago was it? Nine. <laughs> so I mean, within the within two weeks still counts. Plus or minus two weeks is how I live my life. You know, paychecks, <laughs> appointments. Get some more iced tea. Good idea. No. Oh, you're, you're full. Oh, well. But it's really delicious. <clears throat> so yeah, my birthday, August 4th. Yeah. Send me presents. We still have, uh, what is it, nine days? So five more days before the two weeks are out. Get on. <laughs> yeah. So um, actually, we've been meaning to head up the uh, hill oh, and go make uh, range videos together. Um, actually, my fault on, on the main that. channel, Bat Jack JW, if you don't remember or if you've seen it, the green tip ammo test we did the m what was it m8 what m oh m885 m85 or something, something like, that. like that yeah um that was actually that video uh, was shot with um your gun your yes, ammo it was. yes it was you're in the video <clears throat> yeah so and then those are really fun i shot down a tree with those ones yeah <laughs> yeah uh Something else is interesting about this uh, that they may not know is on the main channel, very, very early in the video process uh, of making videos, we did a kind of a video that was like a talk thing. And it was, remember it was like 40 minutes or something? Oh yeah, we talked about guns yeah, the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. And that was, a, that was kind of, in a sense, almost the beginning development ideas for what has become my... Uh, JW's radio every Saturday morning. You, oh, yeah. you're like you're like cartoons. Which <laughs> is you. Yeah, right. <laughs> but well, you're in. You were at. We actually did a JW's radio together. Um, we you're, did a couple. Yeah, you, or but like that. I think you. Yeah, well, you're actually in one of the JW's radio. Other than that, we did like a Colt Python talk and yeah, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. I think we did uh, 1911's birthday. Yeah, yeah, we did the 1911 birthday thing or talk about the 1911s. <laughs> I actually remembered that birthday. I forgot my own. You know what? You know what? Facebook. Thanks, Facebook. Reminded me it was my birthday. I can't do Facebook. I tried. I really did. I tried. That's... I just can't do it. Huh. It's really convenient for keeping track of people that you don't really want to keep track of, but you might need to get a hold of. No? No. Like people at an arm's reach kind of thing? No. Not at all? No. It's convenient. Yeah, but no. I have no... That's all right. It's yeah. not for everybody. I don't even have a modern phone. Okay? Oh, my gosh. This is it. <clears throat> if my and phone fact, wasn't dead. <clears throat> in fact, it broke. I That's why there's a rubber band I on saw it. that. Um, actually, if you watch today's vlog, I show it. So, it, it's broken. So, oh it's got the rubber band. Put the rubber band on it. See my chick with the gun? I'm okay with that. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. It's like when you get those. Uh, I found you know what actually Ed USAF had that picture on his on his channel. So yeah, yeah, I was like, hmm, that's. You know who else has chicks with guns? Who? Dylan, when they send you their catalog. Oh yes, D yeah. If you're uh, if you have the Dylan catalog or subscribe oh, to the Dylan goodness. Precision catalog. I don't actually look through the catalog. I just yeah, I just stare at the cover. Yeah, I get the cover. I'm like, <laughs> I cut that out. Right. I, I, I just, I just cut the gun out. That's all. The gun? Yeah. Why, the girls? I didn't know there was a gun. <laughs> I didn't know there was a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you know, when I...
cut the gun out. I was like, that's a beautiful hand. Um, actually, oh. because uh, because uh, only John or uh, Santee is only going to know this. What are you drinking in your cup there? What am I drinking in my cup? Yeah. There's the Ice cap. water. Ice water? Yeah. Here, you have a longer arm. Well, it comes with... Being six foot? It helps. There you go. <laughs> The Devil's Cut. Now, now on, they're probably going to think we're... We're sucking we're, on oak barrels. Right <laughs> yeah, now. right. They're probably thinking we're... Um, we're we're either sponsored or selling it. <laughs> no. It's, it's just really good. It's like this thing. I'm not sponsored. I don't know about that. By the way... Uh, this one, this one is really because of Stephen Bush. He's a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, does a lot of uh, vaping juice reviews. I can see the cat. I, yeah, I don't know if they can see the cat. They can. I can see the cat. Yeah. Yeah. But this right here, he does a lot of videos with this. And Darth Vapor. Darth Vapor. I should get a Darth Vader helmet. A little button right here, and it'll. That would be pretty dope. So I wonder if I should tell my funny story with the police this week. You didn't even tell me that story yet. I didn't tell you this? The story? I don't think so. Okay. I don't recall anything with the police this week. Alright. I got so, pulled over. Oh, you did? Are you serious? Totally. Who was the cop? I don't know. Some younger Asian guy? Hmm. You know him? Might. I don't remember his name. It wasn't for anything serious. Did he um, let you go? Yeah, well, I wasn't. There was, I didn't do anything wrong, really. Oh. Okay, so what yeah, happened? Well, tell your story well, then. Mine's short. Okay, go ahead. So I drive an old Jeep most of the time, but I have a uh, I have a truck that is the more practical vehicle, meaning it's got a roof. So we've been having some rainy weather, and I was um, I was taking a girl out on a date. So I'm going to use the car man. with a roof. Sorry, well, I mean, I said date because we're supposed to say date, right? Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, old Jeep. When you turn the headlights on, all your lights come on, right? So, I was, I'm really used to that. When my headlights are on, my running lights are on. So, I get in my truck and I'm, I kind of forget that I have running lights. And only running lights. So, when I start my car, my headlights come on, but that's it. And I'm, you know... I'm driving along, I got my headlights on. It doesn't phase me that none of my none of my uh, running lights are on. So my rear lights weren't on. So the cop pulls me over, he's like, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, not really. He's like, you didn't have any lights in the back. I'm like, how about now? He's like, hmm? I'm like, no, I, I check them now. He's like, all right, press the brakes. I'm like, he's like, oh, you got them on. I'm like, I told him the same thing. I'm like, sorry, man, my old CJ, when the headlights are on, all my lights are on. So I had my head, I had my running lights on. I thought all my lights were on. <laughs> so it was a really, it was a simple mistake. That's he was cool, cool about it. He was just like, good. oh, okay, well, you know, the other guy freaked her out because he was over there on the other side, like tapping the glass with his flashlight and peeking in the truck. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And you can. All this back there is like dirty clothes, backpack, bunch of beach towels. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, when I roll, I'm like, I ain't got nothing to hide. Pretty much, like, you, you know, can do whatever you want. Yeah. So, that was my experience. It's been a while since I've been pulled over, so I was just like, what is going on? Well, I'll tell my story, and after we should tell them about that one night that we took a chance in your truck that expired tags to go get oh, McDonald's. Yeah. You were so scared. It was ridiculous. <laughs> like, I, thought you were, I thought you were joking. Mm -mm, I seriously mm -mm. thought you were joking with me, but I'm like... So, mm -hmm. Because we have to explain him the serious. circumstances of that night too. He's serious. He's he, he won't ride with okay. me right now. All right, forget. Do it. yours first. Sorry. Okay. So I'm hanging out at work, and one of the things about work is, um, a lot of cops come by. Anyway, sorry. No, that's all right. Uh, my friend comes by. Yeah, he actually came by to look at something I wanted to show him, and. So he comes by, he just got off uh, duty, he was working, and his squad car is right outside with his little light on it or whatever. So he comes in, we're chatting for a while, and he notices on my desk I have this paperweight, this like a hand grenade. You guys have seen this in the video a bunch. Um, 
He's like, oh, where'd you get that? That's so cool. I'm like, oh, that's nothing. I mean, he's looking at it. He's like, wow. And so he's like, yeah, I wanted one of these. But I, um, he goes, when I was in Vegas, I didn't want to mail this or put it in my suitcase. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, right. So anyway, um, he, he goes to leave. And I, I felt like being a buddy. So I, I took it. I wanted to give it to him. Threw so it well, he's in his car. And mind you, it's a, it's a police vehicle. It's outside the shop. I really didn't think this through. So I'm walking out with it like this. Da, da, da. I knock on his side window. He rolls it down and I had it and I went, Here, bud. yeah. And I went yep. and I tossed it in the window right <clears throat> onto his like whatever his, his seat. Um, as I did this, all I heard was a scream, was like a lady shriek out. Oh my God. And I honestly, I didn't, it, nothing registered. And I'm talking to him, and he, he looks at me and goes, you're crazy. He's like, what the hell? I look over, and I just then I look over, and there's this lady standing there, like. You just threw a grenade into a police yeah. officer's car. So all she must have saw was somebody walking out there with a hand grenade, knock on the police officer's vehicle window. The window rolls down and throwing a hand grenade into the thing. So at that point, I look back at him. I said, I think this lady, and he just goes, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So that was. Yeah, that's way that's way better than my story. Damn, that's hilarious. It was pretty. What, what funny. were you thinking? I didn't. I wasn't. You know what though? I would have done the same damn thing. <coughs> because you know it ain't real. Well, here's the thing. It's because he. <laughs> um, he, I I a lot of times, to be honest with you, I forget he's a police officer. Cool dude. Yeah, he's that cool, and I forget he's a police well, officer. Well, I mean, that you could do that Ooh, watermelon flavor Starburst to go with my watermelon flavored smoke. Oh, do it, do it. Mm, Here, let's it. disappear. Do the magic trick. Yeah. It does actually block you out for a second. It does. Camera's kind of far away though. Oh god, that tastes good. Watermelon and that. Watermelon for my watermelon. Hmm. Hmm. I had something recently. I'm trying to remember because I was surprised that there's a drink and it tastes just like Jolly Ranchers. Hmm. Can't remember what it was though. Oh, but that thing smells pretty good. It does, doesn't it? It smells like candy. It beats the crap out of cigarettes, man. Cigarettes smell terrible. To me. Yeah, no. Um, my little shop, when somebody's been smoking a cigarette, it, it does... Um, you can tell. Yeah. You know, honestly, uh, strangely, I actually kind of like it. Cigar. Cigar smell. My friend's dad smokes cigars. Yeah. And it's, it's not bad. It's a unique smell. It doesn't... It doesn't, cigars have their own smell, and cigars are totally different. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm kind of all right with cigars. I think it's just because they look awesome. Yeah, it's like a big old... I mean, come on, you just think it's... Oh, well, when you see a big, <clears throat> fat one in somebody's mouth... I, I got it. All right. What? Santee is going to love this. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll keep everybody occupied. Yeah, you, you keep them entertained. I know I said that, but I don't really have anything prepared for something like this. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Well, YouTube, my name's Cody, 25 or 26 now, single. I do plumbing for work. Uh, it's pretty dope, man. I get to break things, fix things, build new things, get dirty all day, get paid for it, get to use a bunch of cool tools. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. I like it, you know. Seen some interesting things. Probably not the kind of stories you'd want to hear, but I'm going to share them anyway. So we're doing a hotel renovation, right? Nine nine you know, this whole talk job, right? And it's it's a it's a you know it's a Marriott. It's a big deal. These guys, you know, these guys got money, but it seems like they're spending it in all the wrong places, right? I don't. If anybody knows, cast iron pipe, the quiet pipe supposedly doesn't age well, right? And so they're replacing everything except the actual wastelands, the drains. And I had to go put the camera down there because they were having trouble. So I've got this really cool camera. It goes like 100 feet, right? Oh, hang on. 
And so I'm pushing this camera through, and it's just coming across all of this nasty. And man, I haven't had to do this sort of work in so long. And I'm just bumping this into all sorts of just crazy, crazy stuff. Are we talking about a rotor rooter with a camera on it? Just the camera, though. I was telling them that um, at the Chabron, I had to go camera the drains, right? Because they needed some sort of, they needed an inspection to see if it was worth it to sock up the floor and replace all of it. I voted for sock up the floor and replace all of it because I'm stuck in this camera through here. And man, I'm seeing some juicy bits. And the fact that these juicy bits are still in the pipe means that this pipe system isn't working. I shared with them um, my name, age, relationship status, and occupation. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, it's like some YouTube followers. Yeah. But, uh, Paul, well, you're back. My story's kind of gross, so go on with what you were saying. Mm, okay. You brought something. Um, okay, so, uh, the Arizona Ghost Rider channel. Uh, the guy that I showed you. Yeah, I watched his video. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, he's got a new one out uh, on uh, money and stuff. That's the neighbors. How fast it goes away. <clears throat> yeah, right. Uh, but anyway, he, he told me about these cigars that they use for reenactments because they look like the old school, like cowboy, right. like... Those little thin yeah, mints in your yeah. life. Well, my meal always gets a crazy idea. You're laughing at him. Now you know you're going to apologize like I know you're going to. <laughs> oh. So here they are. And oh, they, you have? Yeah, and they actually are called Backwoods see Cigars. This. this is what it looks like. You can pull one out of there, but I already have one. Now, my quick, can you actually see? Huh? Or they just look for looks? Do they, no, no, they're, they like they're real. Yeah. Honey, bur honey bourbon? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We smoke one? Go ahead. Oh, they look so cool. Yeah. Look at this thing, man. That is some OD. Looks like it's wrapped with dead leaves. Well, that's what it is tobacco leaves. It smells kind of good. Well, as they say, light them up, up, up. <laughs> I'm probably going to bust my lungs if I try this. I've never. Actually, I've, this is the only thing I've ever smoked in my life. Really? Ever. I've never tried a cigarette. Nothing. But I don't really consider this a cigarette because... Well, you don't inhale it in your lungs. Right, you just... Yeah, you just, you know, whatever in your... We should try it. Here, I'll grab it. Do you have a lighter? I don't, oh. know. I don't know if I have a lighter. Really? Yeah, seriously. I, I got my work truck, so... Yeah, me neither. I got a torch. So do you. You have a torch. Yeah, yeah I have a lighter for the torch, actually. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I put that way. Smells. It smells like Lee Moy. Hmm? It smells like Lee Moy. Oh, like, the that's... seed. Yeah, it smells. You smell. Yeah, come on. Mm -mm. No. It smells like. It smells like Lee Moy. It smells exactly like Lee Moy, dude. Let me do that. I'm gonna feel like a badass. I'm probably gonna blow it up because I've never had to do this before. I chose two because you need a lot to get to it really going. To really get it going. All right, YouTube, I'm about to bust my lungs Here for you. Go. Your matches are embarrassing me, bro. Let's try this out, huh? Your matches are bold. There you wow. go. Got a babe, Jim, Emily, and get a Tyler. Hmm? I think I need another match. I think I need another try. Oh, you had it going. Yeah. More is better, Peter. Yeah, I know you're like supposed to do like this whole, I don't know. Is there a trick to it? I'm just, you're probably not know. supposed to hold it in the same hand you got know. the matches. There you go, it's going. Yeah, you got it. And this is so they look legit? Yep. Kind of looks cool. I know, yeah, yeah, so now you're supposed to go, you're supposed to say like a line from a cowboy movie. Go ahead and throw it down, boy. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. If I could do any of those lines better than you, I'd probably try it, <laughs> but I can't. So I'm not even going to try. It's just going to embarrass me. I feel like I'm passing a doobie. <laughs> God, no. Fuck it. Just do it. I don't know. It doesn't taste nearly as good as this.
I'm interested to see the comments on this one. We're just sitting here drinking the devil's cut and smoking. Yeah, now it looks like they're freaking passing around some kind of illegal substance. No, it's it's bourbon cigars. It's interesting. Where'd you get that? Uh, the shop right next to mine. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, oh, here, here's a funny story. There. Here's it's, a it's funny a story cool with this. Okay. It's called Backwood Cigars. That's what it is. And that's for the reenactments. I walk into Walmart, right? And I was just like, just so happened to ask him, like, hey, do you have Backwood Cigars? And the lady looked at me like, what? You know, she had this look on her face like, what are you even talking about? And so I just was <laughs> like, okay. So I asked Santee, I'm like, hey, where do you buy the, where do you get toast? Because I walked into Walmart and looked like a fool. And uh, oh, he said, come on. he told me, he's like, well, you actually got to go to like a tobacco shop, a smoke shop. And I went, no, I work right next to one. You kind of do. Yeah. So it's like, it that smells was like dumb. the name of the store. It's called uh, Ira Hawaii or something. Irie? Irie? Yeah. Irie. Oh, I don't know. Irie. You can have that. That's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want it back. No. I'm all good with that. There's four more of them in here. Or three and four. Backwoods. Interesting. Tastes better than it smokes. The wrapping paper is like candy. <laughs> I think that's where the honey is. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's not as, as delicious as this. But it's a lot lighter and I feel like a badass. Yeah, do you? Kind of. I feel like I should dress up and buy a single action and get a kick-ass hat. <laughs> Get a really, really, got to get sharp eyes, you know? You got to have somebody go, Joe, you shouldn't have done that. Next time I'll knock your damn head off. Exactly. <laughs> should voice that over. <laughs> should turn that way and I'll do the talking. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Interesting, but I had enough of it. Well, you can save it for later. I guess I can. I can. I could, huh? I think it went out anyway. No, it was gone. It was. Yeah. I think you gotta be careful with these things because they'll just keep going, won't they? I don't know. Yeah, it's still going, man. Oh wow. There it is. I like how this guy's just like, um. Oh, it's a little warm. Let's tell him the grease story. I think you did. Did we? On some different video. Uh, let's do it again. Because you I love don't, that story? Yeah, it's one of my favorite stories. You tell it because... Well, I still I did it for her. Okay. You tell it because it's funny from your perspective. Well, from my perspective, <laughs> my D-bag friend decides to pour hot oil all over my hands. It wasn't on purpose. He just missed the bottle that I was holding. Actually, it was a jar. It was a big jar. A wide mouth jar. But you gotta explain to them the whole what we were you doing. Do. You're way better. That's like I can't. I, I I you know I summarize everything. Okay. Well, all right. We were deep frying French fries or onion, onion rings, rings, tater tots, yeah, French probably, fries, yeah. egg rolls. Everything you weren't supposed. Anything. Everything Stay you're not supposed to. Stay tuned for the bacon bomb video. Don't tell them that because then bacon we have to do it. Are amazing. I don't want to do a it. It's a secret. And the video will include the making of. I don't want to do it. And the eating of. He will probably only have one, and I'll eat the rest. Oh, I forgot that was there. Sorry. Oh. But, anyway. um... All right. Here's a nice peel. So, we were deep frying this stuff, and we want I wanted to save the oil for next time because it wasn't that... It was, like, still good. So, I uh, thought that it was... Uh, cooled off, and we had the, the jar or whatever... We were over here, and you were holding the jar, and I was I don't know holding. why he thought that. He was using a mitt to hold the pan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm pouring it in there. I can't see. It's dark out. 
and I all I heard was... Dude, I forgot what I say. You said that that is hey man, hot. Hey, that's that, really hot. <laughs> no, it was this. This is I remember the words because I still laugh about it this way. That is hot, asshole. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's exactly, yeah. That's how I said it. <laughs> All right. But I was super calm about it. Yeah, I know, yeah. You were like, just like, oh, man, that is hot, you asshole. <laughs> because if I dropped it, it'd get everywhere and probably, <laughs> and it'd be glass all over. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, the uh, McDonald's story, I guess. That one night, so. Oh, yeah. He. Tangent. He. We, he came over. This was actually the last time you were on, he, the last time you were on the vlog video was the night I think this was happened. Was that that night? Uh, no. No, I, no, we wasn't. didn't do anything. I'm sorry, yeah. I think we um, were trying to, but we, yeah. didn't, we didn't get into it. Uh, okay, so this was graduation weekend. The kids from the school had graduated, mm. um, so the cops were definitely out. Yeah, bad time and to be on the road all together. This was getting late, and for some reason, I was starving. He was starving. Mostly Somebody, him. Don't put this on me. Mostly him. Okay. He was looking at me like, "Are you hungry? Do, do you want to go get some food, man? Do you, are you, you sure?" So okay, <laughs> we. We were we decided mm -hmm. to go down to town to get them, but the bad thing was, his tags were expired on his car. Yes, actually. And I think the only thing that was a thing was yeah. my insurance. I had insurance. And anything. the thing is that I don't want to get any run-ins of the law, and so it was like if there was any one night not to go out, because there could be a a uh, whatever they call it. Um, what do you call it? Where they they roadblock. pull yeah roadblock. Roadblock. I don't know why I drew a blank on that. There there could be a roadblock, anything like that. So, um, we, it was like I don't know for some reason that was really like unnerving to go. He was we, legitimately like. Yeah, I was. He was you. I couldn't believe it. I'm like. Dude, well, because don't worry it was, about it. I, they, well, no, we were talking about like splitting the ticket. Oh. <laughs> that was mostly just to, just to mess with you, but then you took it so seriously, I let it ride. Oh, God. God, you're terrible. What is that cat doing? It, it was another night where I was driving my truck, and my, honestly, but I have a work truck, drive it every day of the week. I drove it today. They, they saw the video where we were taking all that stuff out of your truck. Which one? Food. Yeah, we, what do we have? Like a mac and cheese and, and... That was amazing. Beans, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but really, like, my personal truck hardly moves. If I'm going to drive something, it's going to be something fun, like the Jeep, because it's, you know, it's, it's lifted. It's got 38s, and I feel like a badass. Makes up for, you know, i got to compensate somehow. Anyway, <clears throat> so, like I said, the truck hardly moves. So it's not, and it's just me, right? So it's not completely out of the question that I would not realize that it all expired. Yeah, no. What do you have, like two Jeeps? Yes. And a car? I, I got a car now. I went to go race cars in California and freaking loved it. It was actually a, like, um, it was a, it was an instructional course, but it was, it was, it was legitimate driving. They took you on a road course. And to tell you the truth, aside from like maybe driving my friends around, it's only been like a handful of times that I've, driven a car i've always you know my my truck or and the car before that i had wasn't a car it was an suv and it had bigger tires on it my my lifted truck that i love and then jeeps so i never owned a, a car much less driven one around so you know i go over there i get in this car and i'm i'm racing for like three days and it's pretty nuts i can take a corner without having to worry about rolling over you know, I can go fast, like 120 miles an hour, which is fast for fast me. and not burn up furiously. Right. Not watch my temperature gauge. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, you know, it was it was pretty, it was awesome and exciting. One of my coworkers, um, he likes imports. He, he drifts cars and, and uh, he talked me into it. He talked me into 
he was buying one to flip and not all stuff I'm interested in by the way no he doesn't but you I think he has a car could you even tell me what it is no car car I it on gets the other hand from name, A to B <laughs> I name all my vehicles actually I just name all my favorite stuff because yeah I, I love what was it the that's funny because that that's like that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie with uh that the Johnny Knoxville and he oh says, yeah. yeah and he says he goes, do you name oh. everything only the shit I love yeah he's like he goes oh this Henrietta he goes this is my Nazi killer or something like that <laughs> And he's like, you have names for all your stuff, and he's like, only the stuff I love. <laughs> no, I, I, I do, man. My 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 Toyota truck is Coco, my black Jeep is Roxy, my green Jeep is Boogie. Right? Hey, um, Santee's truck is Taco. That's awesome. Yeah. Is it a Tacoma? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> my AR-15 is uh, Victoria, Tory for short. My my uh, shotgun's Maxine. That revolver I bought with you. I named that one Jenny just cause. Why not? Hey, it's in my safe, by the way. Oh yeah, you still have that. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you should take them tonight. Uh, later on. Oh <laughs> yeah, great. I don't want to forget it in the truck. Oh. Actually, I have my work truck. I don't want to carry it in there. Uh, my my cell phone is Ariel. My computer is Toa. My I get it from my mom. Like we name everything together. It's it's a fun thing. My dad's blue truck. Is uh, all blue? No, no. We named her uh, Maxi because it's a it's a big Chevy, so it's a Duramax. It kind of okay. just fell into place. My work truck is named Dana. Yeah, it's fun, man. You just name stuff. Yeah, Personalize I, everything. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. No, not feeling it. I've never done it. You've never named anything. Nope. So, only like pets. Yep, only pets. Bummer. My AK is named Oksana. I don't know what it means, but it sounds great. Oksana? Yeah. Hmm. Russian Bob, people. Uh, Bob used to have, remember Bob up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he used to have a back massager. It was named Svetlana. Speaking of Russian people, yeah. I just wanted to yeah. say. Their they're English, like oh, their accented awesome. English yeah. is got to be the it's coolest cool. bad yeah, English. It's pretty funny. Like their bad English is the best. Out of... Out of everybody's accent, they have they just say it cooler. They, their words sound better than ours do. When I say it right, they just sound better. Automatically. I'm dead serious. If I could speak like that, I would. <laughs> Aren't my neighbors are Russian? Are they? Actually, so there's my house, right? Yeah. And there's Japanese, Japanese. A white guy with a Vietnamese wife. Nice. Russians, and then on the other side of the Russians, I think are my goodness, the Germans. Wow! Oh my so god! So we were. Hmm, you see, now it'd be it'd be even funnier if the if the Russians were on the other side, right? Oh god! Because then we could meet in Germany in the middle. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm all sorts of things, man. I get, Great. I've got so many European white people. <laughs> I got Portuguese, Hawaiian, and Puerto Rican. I'm a, I'm a colorful guy. That's awesome. Right? I got half white trash and get it from my dad. <laughs> this is my friend Nikolai. And what's that cousin who is clicking the sound? Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That is it. I love it. Hey, but that. don't get the Bolsheviks about the day. <laughs> they sound awesome. Dude, I'm telling you. But hey, I hope the commode is still liking. <coughs> <laughs> that was nothing. I don't know what that was. Who was that? Christopher Walken. I know. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I was just telling them that I I, uh, I started using uh, my vaporizer because it stopped me from uh, eating candy all day yeah, long. Yeah, and what do you bring out? Butterfingers, cookie... Starburst, and Crunch Bars. Yeah. Hmm. What, what else you got here? Oh, pretzels. Yeah, tell them about the pretzels. <clears throat> Let me go. I'll go. You want popcorn? Yeah. Of all this bad stuff. That sounds good. Here. So these, honey mustard and onion. It's really, really good. These are my favorite. They go with everything. And they don't sponsor me either. I'm just sharing it with you. Now watch. 
watching that next time I go to the gas station. Sold out. But yeah, diabetes kind of runs in my family. And it doesn't help that I seriously love sweet things. Love it. I visited New Zealand recently. Kiwis are awesome. They're so friendly. It's a shame that none of them like guns. You walk into the gun stores and they're anti-gun. Yeah. Each their own, I guess, but... Over here, you go to the beer aisle and you see beer. Lots of beer. And maybe you'll see, like, Reds or Angry Orchard or something. So you go to New Zealand. And they'll have their beer aisle. And then they'll have, like, a whole nother aisle. Or a whole refrigerated section. All ciders. Tangerine lime cider. Mixed berry cider. Apple cider. Just all of these like small little homebrew ciders. And they are so amazing because you're getting a good like 5%, 6%. Right? So it takes, you know, you get a nice couple beer buzz. But it's sweet and it's refreshing. And man, I wish I could have brought all that home with me. Because here in the islands, you really like Reds or Angry Orchard. That's about it. Other than that, it's all beers. And I'm not really... Um, like IPAs and stuff like that, where it gets starts getting really heavy. I'm not. I'm not good with that. My mom loves it. I'm no good with it. I like light, sweet things, which is odd that I would enjoy whiskey so much. But inconsistencies keeps things interesting. Another funny thing about sweet is that um, now my, you know my idea of sweet things would be candy, Starburst, Butterfingers, chocolates, sugary sweet, you know ciders, stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> some of the like uh, in my at my work, I work with like Hawaiians and uh, Filipinos, and their idea of sweet compared to mine. Like, on a basic level, it's just completely different. Hey, that was fast. The microwave cooks it pretty quick. So I was telling them I like sweet things. Oh, here we go. No, no, wait, I'll show you something. Um, I guess we'll put it right here. So they saw this before, I think. This is a life hack on how to open popcorn. Who'd have thunk it? Yep. Anyway, so I was telling them about sweet things. Ooh, that's really good. Holy crap. Wow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I was talking about sweet things, right? Like, I like sugar sweet, like candy and stuff like that. Have you ever had bana? What? Bana? Bana. Uh uh. You know the stuff that stabs you in the ocean? Oh, yeah, that sucks. Have you had, have you ate, have you eaten it? No. <clears throat> Alright, so, funny. Sea urchins, Vana, the black ones, long spines, what you know, blue or not. For parties and special occasions, uh, you'll go out and you'll you'll catch a bunch of them. Okay? And the method of preparation is um, you shake them. So it's a big wire basket. You dump them all in there and you shake them in the water, and it breaks all the spines out. Right. So you're just left with this hard shell body. So you bust it open on the rocks, and when you split it open inside. There's like the middle with the, with the green part, so you scoop that out and throw it away. And then rimming the inside of the shell is the, is the flesh that you eat. It's orange, right? And so you peel it off and it comes off in little peels. <clears throat> they think that is sweet to, the, to them, because I was at a party with my, my co-worker, which is all Hawaiians and Filipinos, yeah? Okay. That's sweet to them. Or like sweet rice. Or... Uh, I forget what, exactly what they call it, but the sweet rice uh, mochi, that's sweet. It's like their level of sweet is just base different, totally different. Because sugar sweet, hardly any of them like sugar sweet. 
and they were saying the bono was sweet. I'm like, it tastes like salt water. They thought it was sweet meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was tripping out, man. I'm like, this tastes like salt water. Of course, they, uh, what is it, the bono? That's one of the uh, aphrodisiacs, I think. Something like that. I don't know. When I'm popping jokes all night about popping bones and going to sleep with tents everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes when I watch some of these people out here cook and I'm like, did you not take home economics in school? What do you mean? I don't know, stuff that they do, I'm just like... Have you had eel? No. Really? I don't eat nothing from the ocean. It makes me sick. God. How are you... I'm crab, shrimp. No. You're, are you, you're allergic to something, right? I don't... Yeah, it's stuff all makes me sick. Not like actually sick, mental Seafood, sick? Seafood, no, yeah, like I get like... You are missing out. Why are you even on this island surrounded by seafood? I seafood, I eat it. What did, no, uh, here, Roy Sh what did Roy Scheider say in Jaws? It's uh -huh. only an island if you look at it from the water. Hey! <laughs> Movie quote index. <laughs> if you could fit in my pocket. These poor guys, you're just watching us eat. I am. Eating smoke. Right. You've done some damage tonight. No way. Yeah, we had like, that was minor, there's nothing. Well, you have more of these. Yeah, yeah, totally. Remember? I was like, I bought three bags, but I ate, I ate one on the way here. Yay. But yeah, I showed, I showed them those. I told them I freaking love these. These pretzels are just delicious. <clears throat> you're going to eat them, and then you're not going to stop eating them. But <clears throat> make sure you get the pieces. Don't get the whole ones. Because the whole ones, it's like a lot of pretzel and not as much seasoning. The pieces is all small pieces covered in seasoning. So we're getting like honey mustard. This is Schneider. Schneider's. <clears throat> You're hooked, aren't you? You're good. Aren't they? Like I said, only get the pieces though. The whole ones is too much pretzel. You don't get enough honey, mustard, and onion. Wow, well, I see what you're saying. Right? Because normally they're huge. Tip and you find out. Oh, yeah. Not so. Is that a good one? No, no. They're usually, that's half of one. Yeah. And they're like that long. So, all the way around, it's all, it's a lot of pretzel for not a lot of powder. Not a lot of powder? <laughs> yeah. You know, more of that honey, mustard, and onion, salty, sweetie goodness. Mm. That is pretty good. Right? Got my parents hooked on them. Coworkers love them. The interesting thing is, I would probably never buy something like this. No, I didn't either. Somebody else introduced them to me. It's not something like I could see myself going to the store and like, oh, let's try that. I don't know what she's doing. She's hanging out. Yeah, I know. She like, um, she's weird because she finds. Want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> um. Mr. Holster likes to go smell the cork. You want to smell the cork, but this doesn't have a cork because this is high-end stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> smell the cork. They say um, Fred Knoll, the, uh, the the master distiller, he says to have your mouth open when you when you nose it. Because then you're not, you're not, um, the, the alcohol does not abrupt the nose. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Since Honestly, there's, what the heck would I do? Why would I smell it? Because this is whiskey connoisseur stuff. Okay. okay. You this think I can tell the difference? Heck, well, this is, I learned a lot from watching Fred Mills' <clears throat> videos. You sure you didn't learn a lot from drinking a lot? Uh-uh. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> so... YouTube talking. What he does is the first thing he says is you look at the color, and this uh, Devil's Cut has a really dark, rich color. Are you sponsored? Huh? Huh? 
Shut up. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Go no, on. So, so, so this is really, what he. This is what I learned really from watching color. Fred Knoll. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Not he a said, you, of he said you, he lo you look at the color and then you nose it. And he said you gotta uh, you take in the the smell of the the oak the um the roasted nut. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, By all means, continue. You, I'm enamored. The toffee and all that. The I love aroma, toffee. Yeah, I know the aroma of it. Uh huh. Okay. Tell me and why. And he says, <laughs> take this seriously. YouTube's counting on you. <laughs> why are you out here? I'm just relating Is it this uninterrupted eye contact that's bothering you? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> People want to know. Okay, well then, so then he says the next part is his favorite part, the taste. Mm, uh -huh. And he says Tell me to more. use the Kentucky Chew. And uh -huh. what that is, is you I'm take... I'm chewing right now, what's the difference? Did you just chew your drink? Mm -hmm. And he says what that does is that allows great. you to to um, taste the the flavors and all uh, all the uh, sides of your mouth, I guess, and it tastes different. Uh, that's that comes from Booker No, his father. You sure it's just because Kentucky's full of rednecks and they've never heard of swishing because they don't hey. know what mouthwash is? All right, be I careful. Can say that be careful, man. I... Some of those guys are good people and they're subscribed to this channel. Are you kidding me? No, Kentucky's I'm not kidding awesome. You. Yeah. So <laughs> my dad's from Kentucky. I can say that, all right. and my family's all over Kentucky and Indiana. So. So, all right, so the next thing he says I think is the it finish. Me just a little. The finish. The Finishing finish, it off? No, the finish of the aftertaste in your mouth. Now, the I must say that this is... This has a really rich oak wood-like flavor. It's, if you... This is a if lot... If you were to dive into an oak barrel and lick it up and down, yeah. it'd be like this. Except not as embarrassing or awkward or tight. Could you fit in an oak bow? I might be able to. You might not. Yeah. I can do a full split. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. All right, maybe you can. Well, I mean, it's been a long time, so I mean, but I can definitely make my balls touch. Really? I could fit in a barrel, guarantee. Okay. I could live in a barrel. Well, it'd be like that Asian guy from Ocean's <laughs> movies. I like, talk more. You know? And I don't blow all my money on mansions and cars and women. What the f- What are you talking about? Okay, I don't have a mansion. Ha! I feel like since these people are watching, we need to keep them, like, engaged and... If we just sat here quietly eating it. Most boring. people probably didn't even make it this far in a video. That's probably true. Should we like... The video's probably like... Huh? Can you tell how long it's been recording? Don't stop it. Just tell me how long it's been recording. Yeah. Yeah, it's 50 minutes almost. Oh, okay. Okay. 50 minutes is a long damn time. Is yeah. anybody dedicated enough? To still be watching Okay, who this? has made it this far in a video? I'll tell you what, you know no, what? No, you should do like a little thing. What thing? <clears throat> a question? Why'd you bring these over? Because they're delicious, and I love ruining people. A question or a comment you say right now that only people who've watched this long will see should qualify them for something. No? Okay. You know what? Well, you want to give him something? We should. Well, it's hard. Like, when I think about giving something, I'm like, you know, just keep it simple. I'll help you with it, too. Like, you know, like a, what is that, like a medium size post box? Mm -hmm. The flat rate box? Yeah. I mean, we live in Hawaii. There's a lot of cool stuff over here. You might not like some of it. We'll just send you a little gift box, man. It'll be like, you know, can you right. send that sort of stuff like Caramax, yeah. maybe like a few little yummy lihimoi things, just like a sample pack of island snacks. You gonna you gonna go in but yeah, with it? You know what? I'll do it. I'll make the box. You make the box? I'll make. I'm gonna make the box. You know what? 
because I was telling these guys all about, you know, sweet things. Fine. I was talking right. food with them. I'll chip in some money to help ship okay. it. I'm going to Go make ahead. this box. <clears throat> but you got to, now here's the way you got to do this, okay? If you're going to do this, they have to, they have to do something to enter. Then you take their comment. And all the people that answer, oh, well, you can't and you got to put their name on a piece of paper, and we got to draw it out of a hat. Cool. To whoever wants. Can we do something wanted. cool, like blow up the hat and then catch a catch a name? You you come up with all that, then fine. However, you want to draw their name. We'll write your names on golf balls, and I'll put a bucket of golf balls on five pounds of tannerite. And we'll okay, shoot no, the come tannerite. on, we got to make this reasonable. We can't like I mean we I barely can get to the range to make a review video. Well, it's because you hate driving down south. If we went down south, we could do this. I don't want to go it. down south. <clears throat> no, we'll just draw the name out of the a hat. bucket of golf ball. Corrupting we'll just and then draw the one. name out of the hat. Okay. You're the winner. Tell them something that they need to say in the comment. Well, right you can't now. say it in the comments because then people are going to wonder about it and it's going to give it away. They need. Is there a direct message on YouTube? Yeah. Kind of like a whisper. Not a whisper. I play online games. Right. Sorry. Okay. Personal message me. On, on this channel, Combat yeah. 86 Radio Show. Personal message me and say, you want in on a giveaway. Right. You want some of Cody's goodies. You yeah. want, you want, you want in you on Cody's goodie box. Fuck, man. You want a chance right here. You need to put in. That just I, sounds so I, wrong. I want a chance at Cody's goodie box. That's it. You personal message him that. And I'm gonna to put together a kick-ass box. It's gonna have like chocolate, you know, flavored mac nuts. I'll put in some normal ones too, just so you can, have, you know, try it before you buy it. <clears throat> you know, Caramax, probably like Lehimoy powder. Lehimoy powder is really good on like fruit and stuff. You know, put some, cut up some fruit, put it in a Ziploc, put some powder in there, mix it up. It's really good. You know, seeds. I mean, it's a, it, a lot of it's acquired, but it'll be fun to try if you've never visited here. Okay, now next thing we gotta do is put an expiration date on this. Because, to be quite honest with you, I'm gonna be surprised if anybody made it this far. Me too, dude. I'm not actually expecting to have to make this box. I'm not gonna lie. But we gotta do it if somebody does. No, no, does. no, by all means. Okay, so this video will if probably... If somebody actually watches this far and yeah. personal messages you, yeah. they're already my best friend. Because right, they awesome. just sat here and listened to me okay. talk shit. Alright, I'll tell you what. Two weeks. Two weeks. So two weeks. Is that too long? No, no, that's fine. It's just because um, I mentioned two weeks earlier in the video. Okay. So, let's see. Let's just say because it's the thirteenth today. Oh no no nine days. Nine days. Let's do nine days because that's how long ago my birthday was, and that's the whole point of this video. Okay. So, all right. So let let okay. Being that I get it uploaded tomorrow. Okay. Let's just give it. Let's just say Monday. Let's just start it Monday, just to be safe, just in case this thing doesn't get uploaded. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tuesday the twenty third is the is the cutoff. That is the deadline. You need to personal message him at um, Combat eighty six Radio Show right here on YouTube. Boom, and tell him that you want you want in on Cody's goodie box. Yep, there you go. So personal message me that and. We'll uh, take whoever enters and put them in their name in a hat, and whoever wins, you'll get. You'll Cody's get Cody's goodie, goodie box. box. You're gonna love it. All right. You'll like at least something in there. All right. Probably just throw a Snickers in there just so they don't hate everything, because it's gonna be like fun stuff like seeds and limoy and plum and <laughs> Caramax and Mac nuts. And All right. I'll pay for the shipping. Okay, I'll build the box. Okay, you build the box, I'll pay for the shipping. If we build it, they will come. <laughs> okay, there you go. So if you made it this far in a video, that you you get something out of this. All right? It wasn't for nothing. Oh, okay. You were walking back and forth. If they made it this far, we're already like best friends, man. I was talking about my job. I was hitting on your YouTube followers a little bit. Iron. Full my car cars I drive and what I like. Yeah, I know more about you than me. Basically. <laughs> I told them about how much I loved all the ciders in New Zealand. I just I was just telling you about that before we started the video. No. Oh. Remember? So that was fun. This yeah. was fun. Yeah, no. Uh, starting YouTube is, has been just amazing for me. Yeah, yeah you're saying that. Remember? 
You were there when I first started doing it. I was. I was. I mean, what did you think of that idea when I was like, hey, I'm going to do this YouTube thing? Hmm. Now, let me ask you this. When I started my YouTube channel, did you ever think I would get over one million views and all these thousands of people watching? I didn't think it was impossible. I didn't think it was impossible. But it's a lot either. of work, Jim. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Um, to maintain something like this? You have to stick with it. You that's, have to be dedicated to it. That's the work right there. Yeah, you really... I mean, I think it's anybody like can do this. Um, you just got to be dedicated to it. And I actually enjoy it so much that that's the reason it keeps me going. Right. Mm. But no, I figured you'd do pretty well. I mean... I don't know. I, honestly, I didn't... When I got yeah, I, guns, I won't lie. There was a couple times. This was times. like the first guy I started talking to about all sorts of stuff. He fixed my, like, my first 1911 came broken. Oh, yeah, that was and, an uh, awesome story. You know, he we helped me out. That, we told that on video. Yeah. So he helped me out. Super knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything, but. No, he doesn't. Well, he doesn't pretend to either, which is awesome. Well, why? Why would you sit behind a gun counter and say, oh, yeah, I know all those words? I don't know. We should ask half the people that sit behind the gun counter. <laughs> I certainly don't know anything either, dude. I'm learning stuff all the time. Actually, um, I had a guy come back to the gun counter uh, back in my old job, and he uh, he was sold that night before. He was sold a uh, Mossberg 590, and then mm -hmm. they sold him a box of 30 out 6 ammo for it. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, well, I don't know who's shame on who. Shame on you for not knowing the difference, or shame on them for not knowing the difference. Yeah. More shame on them. Well, but then again. See, the, th the thing was, the guy didn't actually like open the box and look at the rounds because what happened was when he got home, he did. And he looked at it and said, hmm, the fact that I could just probably slip this right through the barrel doesn't make any <laughs> Put sense. Put it in the magazine tube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I hope he did not, but oh I think gosh, I still gotta clean my guns. And how long has that been? Four weeks. Five oh. weeks. Actually, I shouldn't talk. I've done. I I got. Well, that was like five weeks since I shot, and then it was like five more weeks because the last time I didn't clean them, and then I ran them <clears> dirty <throat> all the way till the next time I shot. Yeah. And then it's been five weeks since. What then. are you doing tomorrow? Or no, you know what? Not 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 this Sunday. Okay. Wow. Next Sunday. Let's go. Next Sunday? Yeah. Right. Next Sunday, let's go. Alright. Plan in advance. Yeah, it is. Cause next Sunday I gotta work again. Okay. Next Sunday? I got no this Sunday. Oh this Sunday. Tomorrow. This, tomorrow i I'm already committed. I got okay. I got a laundry list to the do. The twenty first. The twenty first of this month. Okay. Mark it in your calendar. Alright. On your phone, your fancy phone. Oh. Oh, it's dead. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I love doing fancy phone stuff with it. Like browsing the internet, you know, watching YouTube videos. Oh. Right? The more yours, but... No, oh, well, thanks thing. a lot, Joe. I watched, I watched one of your videos, and then my phone died. Yeah, which one did you watch? I don't know. Yeah, yeah right. All right. I was actually watching... I was listening to music. Vancouver Breakdown by Zomboy. Yeah. The song's super catchy, man. I like that. Okay, well, let's cut this video off because I'm sure. sure. Yeah. I mean, we're probably over an hour now. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> e we're right at an hour. Really? 58 minutes and 40 seconds. I kind of want to. I mean, like 40 what? seconds. I mean, we're almost to one. You want to do one hour? Exactly one exactly hour. Exactly one hour? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like when you pump gas, right? I don't know about you guys, but I totally try to break it at like, break it the even. next dollar. And I want that like dollar zero zero. It's 59 minutes, so you got 60 seconds. Entertain them. I don't know how to juggle. And it's, we're outside, so I can't blow smoke rings. You couldn't see me do a full split, and I certainly don't want to try. You know what? You should end it. End it by clouding them out. Well, hold on. Let me get all the corn out of my mouth. All right, well, you only got 40 seconds to do it. That's fine. I don't want to inhale all the popcorn in my mouth. Look at that, I just chewed my tea. Yeah, see? Wow, it tastes better. Did the Kentucky chew? Oh, I didn't, really? Fred, no. Because they don't know what a swish is. You better stop that. I'm kidding. Okay. My family's from there. All right. What is this? 
What'd you find? I don't know. Okay, you got 10 seconds. I'm warming it up. <laughs> 